9 o'clock, meeting with Euclides from MW. 11 o'clock, Zaza Bistro or Claude, check with Davi and Liliana. 1 p.m. lunch, check with Anna about coat at laundry, Julia's passport and pictures. 3 p.m. finished sales report, 9 p.m. airport check-in, 11 p.m. Air France, flight 1494. Sometimes I wish I could leave my body. No, no more check-in. Flying to another head, another body, another pair of legs. For example, into a body of a housewife with five kids. And just water the plants, cook the rice, dress up the kids for school, and pack their lunches. Five lunch boxes. The lunch boxes. The lunch box, this thing among things, obvious. Juice, cooking, napkin, juice, cooking, napkin, juice, cooking, napkin. How many times did I say that? I didn't say it five times. Well, I wish I were an obvious woman wearing a scarf on my head and slippers. Horrible feeling, like a nightmare. That you get when you think about how it's to drown to death, or burn to death, or suffocate, or be buried alive. You know that kind of absurd conversation that happens when you try to compare and decide which would be the worst way to die. Well, the good thing about being just a conversation is that on the day after you forget about it, but you can't forget the memory of nearly drowning. Our life was going to end on a street that ends on a stream. So, this is dying. No warning. No last words. No farewell. You know, it was pretty quick. Three shots, point blank. The bus drivers and ticket collectors in São Bernardo do Campo went on strike to protest my murder.